Hey gang, Sarah here. So I'm here to set up week 43 in my OneNote um, kind of planning system here. And this is a little differently. I'm totally winging this whole thing. I'm setting it up and envisioning it on the fly. So I'm giving you just like the raw version <laughs> of this. But I really like how it came out. So as you know, I've been really using OneNote a lot more. And I was like, huh, what would it be like to not have the Hobonichi or the paper-based planning. Not to say that I will ever move away from that. I'm not saying that. But anyway, this is me setting it up. So really, I'm like, well, I'm kind of imitating the weekly layout in some way. Um, and I did have the weekly dashboard, and that's a little bit of a kind of modification of that. And you can see I'm just obviously putting the dates in there. And what I'm what I'm aiming to do is really leverage my Outlook appointment, uh, my Outlook program with my OneNote. So basically, as I'm going through my day or week, I just kind of click on the meeting, you know, the link, and it'll bring me to whatever I need for that meeting. So I'm really breaking out the week in a few different sections. And I'm looking at it, you know, Monday through Friday, I mean, Monday through Sunday, really. And I see my week vertically, I know like people see it differently, but <laughs> I see it vertically. Um, and I have a few different sections here. So obviously seven days in the week. And then instead of like hour based, I'm just doing it by area of my life. So I have my work meetings section and my work to do section. Well, they're really in one section. Um, and then I have my home to do, my self to do section. And then you'll see as I'm kind of going through this, I add a family to do in here. And you'll see that I have like the numbered bullet points and I put the three dots after that. Now, that seems excessive and I just want to tell you why I do that. For some reason, I just do it to keep alignment. So in my temp, like my meeting note templates, I do the same thing. And sometimes I might not have any actions that come from point one, but I might have actions that come from point two. And if the dots aren't there, they'll reset the numbering system. So anyway, okay. So now I'm looking at my Outlook calendar. I can't show you my Outlook calendar, so I hope you all understand. But I'm really just looking at the calendar to see what I have going on. So I'm obviously blocking what all my work stuff because, you know, I like my job. <laughs> but I'm blocking it. But I am going to show you how to do things in OneNote. But just bear with me because the only way to show you how often I go back to my OneNote is by showing you but not really showing you. <laughs> but so I'm putting little tips on the screen here. And again, remember that highlight the title in your OneNote, right click, copy to paragraph. That's like your best friend with OneNote as I'm uh, learning. All right. So for Monday morning, I have a meeting about some A3 that somebody wants to do. And I had a previous conversation with them about that. So I was going in and locking and linking in the notes from that previous meeting. Okay. Now you're seeing me also set up for a new event that I'm planning. So I'm actually creating the OneNote uh, section as I'm doing my planning system so it's ready for me whenever I'm there. So this is a little cumbersome, but again, this is the first time I'm doing it, so I'll get better. All right, so see this like initial VSM meeting. Again, it's initial, so we haven't even had a conversation, but I need to kind of prep for agenda, be ready for my meetings to happen, take notes, um, and Again, I'm using my template section, so I'm copying and pasting because I'm also kicking off like a new mini project. So I put the A3 in there. So you see me setting up the A3. And again, I'm copying and pasting. Now, this whole session, this whole planning session took me 30 minutes. So I really can't believe how efficient this was. Um, so now my template's there. And now I'm just showing you how I'm copying the meeting notes, they just highlight the page, right click and copy link to paragraph. Again, I'm going back and forth to my calendar, you know, and if I had one screen, if I had two screens to do this on, it probably would have been easier, but I'm recording my screen for you guys. So I'm bopping around. Um, 
So, but again, I'm going back and forth, back and forth. And now I realize I'm triple booked for this meeting, this time of the day. So I'm actually taking the time right now to just move my meeting a little bit so I can accommodate. I'm planning on making two meetings, not all three. Uh, So I noticed that when I was going to do this standard work prep, that one note. Um, So that's how I noticed I was triple booked. So I moved it so I don't like, oh crap, on Monday morning, like then move it last minute. And now my work to do's, and at the end, we'll kind of go over the, um, the... the flow of the week but for my work to do I'm really just looking at the things that I know I got to prep for um for that day and I keep adding to the different days of the week as I'm planning because I'm like oh well if I got something on Wednesday I need to prep for it on Tuesday so I'm kind of planning for this like helping my future self so I like this so I'm already in my mental planning mode so I might as well just take care of whatever I got to do and then as you can see I'm also looking at like my home to do um, and like myself to do. So like some examples for home to do. I was So life hack to y'all. My kids love Chipotle and I don't like to cook. So I completely just ordered the Chipotle catering. Oh, that's my plan this week. So they can just eat that. Um, so anyway, so that was really kind of exciting to think of that. So then I have to cook dinner. And then some of the self to do's is... Um, okay, like I got a lot of hair because I have extensions, obviously. (laughs) So I have to schedule in when I'm going to wash and straighten my hair. (laughs) So I have that in there. And then just some like house stuff I got to do where I'm like putting the fatty, the patio furniture away. Um, so anyhow, I got to like get that done and I keep just like not doing it and I need to kind of start holding myself accountable. So that's a little bit what this system is for too. So again, I'm going back and I'm really just going through the weeks, the days, and uh, you'll see here, I have a couple conversations, a couple meetings on the same thing, and I'm just taking the link and I'm copying it wherever I need to talk about that throughout the week, so it's just ready to go. Um, so I'm not, you know, flipping through all my one notes or anything like that. It just, you just look like you're more put together um, and prepared, which, because you are, you are in fact more prepared because you're already ready for it. Um, so anyhow, I'm just kind of going through that, linking everything. And then some of the templates that I need for my week, I don't have done yet. So I'm just putting a note to myself to link the business, you know, the business unit template here. And then I'll put that as one of my to do's work to do's, um, before. So once I actually create it, then it'll be good. So now I'm in my OneDrive because I'm getting the link to my project folder, right? So when I'm getting ready for this meeting on Thursday, I can just click on here. Here's the folder and I can get right to the PowerPoint that I need um, or as I'm getting ready to actually go into the meeting. So anyhow, I really think like I just, again, I, I love having this OneNote system because I only have to really prep for my week and at this point, 30 minutes right now. Like this literally took me, I think the time on it before I edited it was like 29.32 minutes. Um, And I sat on my porch in the sun while I was doing it, to be honest. So again, it's pretty efficient. And now I'm going in and I'm figuring out like what are the things I have to do for myself. So I'm going to a Halloween party on Saturday. Um, again, I, Monday night I have dinner with a friend. Um, what else? What else? What else is happening here? I'm just kind of calling out like, um, oh, I got to do groceries Monday. Um And again, so you can see all the links. So if you look at my Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all my links to either the OneNote or the project kickoff documents that I got to do or the the project folders are ready for me that day. So on one of my screens, I have my OneNote or half screen, I have my OneNote and the other half of the screen is whatever I'm sharing potentially. Uh, let's see. So if you're looking, what am I going to jump off and do here? I'm trying to think of my, what am I doing, Sarah? Uh, I'm thinking that's why this is (laughs) like this. Okay. So now you'll see, I'm trying to zoom in. I actually was, for some reason in my mind, I started to think about what I need to talk about in this meeting. 
So I'm just putting the few different agenda topics in there because I was already thinking about it and it takes me five seconds. So I just did it right then and there. So um, now I'm really just prepped for my meeting on Monday already um, because we're doing like a report out. So I was like, I need to in the report out, what do we want to include? And I just already knew some of the topics that I wanted to do. So I threw them in the agenda and my reoccurring meeting notes. uh, So they were right there. So I'm like kind of helping myself out already. And then on the weekends, I'm putting like plan the grind to do's because Saturdays are the day that I do a lot of filming. And I hope you have made it this far, but I am going to be launching my Patreon again. So I'm just dropping a little bit of information yet. So I'm still working out like the dates and everything, but I am actually going to I've started working on like a new five-year plan because my last five-year plan I did was kind of outdated and I already accomplished some of those and my life is different. So I'm just kind of revamping my five-year plan. And those are the things that I would love to do on my Patreon. Like how do you make the plan? How do you go forward and like kind of just set goals throughout the year that gets you to where you want to be? Um, so anyway, so I will be launching a Patreon, so hold me accountable, everyone. Um, so be on the lookout for that. I'll obviously uh, let y'all know this stupid thing keeps popping up on me. It was driving me crazy. But, um, again, okay. So here's another one on Monday. I'm going to water the plants like, cause you know, I forget <laughs> usually I do it on Wednesday, but I noticed a couple of my plants need to be watered more often. So Monday, Wednesday, right. Um, and then you'll see on uh, Wednesday, this is where I started already kind of working out my five-year plan and I want to continue to develop it a little more. So that's what I'm working on. And then um, one of the things on Sunday, so I'm watching the football, I will do my nails. So I tend to do my nails on Sundays. And these are just like kind of routines that I get. And, you know, the other thing about like my hair, so I had said it takes a long time to wash my hair, but I'm also like wanting it like in this new hair care (laughs) routine which is so corny but this is just a little self-care fun for me and I want to like be disciplined on you know doing certain things on certain days so I'm kind of putting it in there to you know call myself out and hold myself accountable so anyway thanks for watching and I hope you all enjoyed this it's very cumbersome but thank you all and thanks for being patient with me while I experimented with something new And again, be on the lookout for some Patreon stuff.